having a super amazing day today. Guys, I got a hot sauce to review. Fui a la tienda y I was all like looking at the sección de las salsas, ¿verdad? And I was like, I mean, at first I was excited when I saw it, but then I started questioning. I'm like, should I grab it? Should I not grab it? You know, because I have previously tried hot sauces from Mexico Lindo, like the ones that are distributed by Salsas Castillo, guys. But I have mixed emotions on them. Like the first one I tried, I'm like, mmm, so freaking delicious. Like I taste the Mexican flavor in it. The oregano, you know, like stuff like that. But this last time that I tried it, if you guys have not seen that video, go ahead and watch that video. I'll put the little link up there so that you guys can watch it. Guys, I do not recommend that hot sauce at all. Like, I don't even know why they're selling it, guys. It was so artificial tasting to the point that you're like, what is this? Like, no más pica, because yes, it was hot, but that was it. That was it. Like, they even put coloring in it to the point where the specks, like, you can visibly see the specks on it. It was not appetizing at all to look at, and it did not taste great. So, I was, like, really questioning, should I grab another one of their flavors? What if it's, like, the first one and it's actually really good? And I'm just basing it off of my last experience to the point that I don't want to try it. So, I grabbed two bottles. We're gonna try this one first. This is the hot one, guys. And chile tepin, you guys know chile tepins. Oh, they're so tiny, but pack a punch and they're flavorful. Let me read to you guys. Lo que tiene esta in the ingredients. Water, chile tepin, pepper puree, spices, iodized salt, monosodium glumate, acetic acid, phosphoric acid, sodium metabisulfite, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate as added preservatives, has xanthan gum, citric acid, and ascorbic acid as well. Okay, this one does not have any type of coloring, so the color you guys see on here, that's the original color, so that's good. That's good to know, verdad? Because, I don't know, well, why do you put food coloring in hot sauces? Hot sauces should be like the most naturalist form ever. Like, all simple, fresh ingredients. Like, come on, guys. Like, we're overcomplicating it. Like, I don't think that coloring should be added at all in hot sauces. Just enhance the colors con tomato, make it red, con tomatillo, make it green, you know what I mean? Like, you add um, celery, and you know, celery actually, you would think it would make it more of a green color, but no, like I've made some salsas and they go more on the lighter whitish color, so you can play with different ingredients to get the coloring that you want, unless you want like a pink one. But then again, there is chiles. You can do it with the chiles too. Like there is pink chiles, guys. Okay, so vamos a ver. Consistency, a nice liquid consistency. And everything looks very, very well blended. So, big cucharita. My cucharas, guys, they hold quite a bit of hot sauce. Now, vamos a probarla. Okay. Not like my last one. I actually like this flavor. I get the chile tapina from salt. It's fine. A little more on the saltier side, but not too bad. I know a lot of you guys like a saltier salsas, hot sauce, so it's more like for you guys, I'm more like, <laughs> just want a good balance. I don't want it también to taste like a mouthful of salt, and you don't get that with this. I wanna say, it has like um, that pepper powder taste, so I wanna say the chileta beans were dry. Chileta beans that gives it this taste, almost like when you're tasting like a hot sauce to put on your burritos or something like that, you know? Like that, but like way spicier. It's not bad though. It's not bad. For under two bucks, I would definitely buy this one again. So this one for me is a win, guys. Not like the previous one, I'm telling you. I don't know what's wrong with that other one. Maybe it was just a bad batch. Maybe I should rebuy it. And then I also want to like try all the hot sauces at one time, también. So that I can tell you guys which one is my favorite out of all of them. But for now, guys, this one is pretty good. So I do recommend you trying this one out. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are so freaking amazing. Have a great day. Bye.